This is a video about the smallest circuit I've built yet. This is a voltage regulator, a 7805, giving a 5 volt voltage regulator. I have attached an orange wire, I've only got a red pen, which is V in. This is attached to a power supply and a voltmeter, and the voltmeter is measuring V in just there. I have attached the output to a 1 kilo ohm resistor to provide some load and I'm going to attach that to a green voltmeter and measure V out and V out is measuring just here so I can measure the input voltage and the output voltage and see what happens so let's turn the voltage up and the first thing you'll notice is that the input voltage rises and there is no change in the output voltage this should read zero I think my probe is not calibrated properly one volt going in, zero volts coming out. The regulator needs at least one, maybe two volts to actually function. There you go. When I got to 1.5 volts, 1.4 volts, then the voltage regulator started providing an output voltage. I keep going up, and as the input voltage rises, the output voltage rises with it. And I keep going higher and higher. And when I get to about 6 volts, the output voltage is still not quite 5 volts, and it's still rising. But now, when I get to 7 volts, the output voltage is 5.1 volts almost, and it's fixed. And if I keep the input voltage going up, the output voltage no longer rises. So as long as the input voltage is more than about 1.5 volts above 5 volts, then the output voltage will stay fixed at 5 volts, a 5 volt regulator. Let's go back down the ways, and we'll see that the voltage stays at 5 volts until this gets to about 6.5 volts in, and there it starts to collapse. Oh, a very nice demonstration. Now let's see what happens when we plot this on a graph. So I've arranged it so that V in runs along the bottom and V out runs up the side and I'll get the data while we're working and we'll start turning up the voltage. To start with we get no output voltage, then there's an interesting little step and then the voltage rises steadily as the input voltage rises, the output voltage rises and when it gets to 5 volts, the output voltage stays fixed. And when we come back down the way again, as the output voltage, as the input voltage falls, the output voltage stays fixed. So the input voltage can vary, but the output voltage stays fixed at 5 volts. Okay, it's not changing, it's staying at 5 volts. But if I go too low, then the output voltage falls as well and we get back down to zero eventually. Fabulous.